As a way of preserving Nigeria's cultural heritage for the coming generation, a non-governmental organization in Atlanta, Georgia, United States, has concluded plans to build a museum in Opobo Kingdom River State. The world-class museum will house all that Opobo is known for. Okbobo is a kingdom founded by the famous King Jaja in 1870, the first recognized richest man in Nigeria. It is strategically located along the shores of the Atlantic Ocean as one of the main islands in southern Nigeria with many sociocultural activities. The traditional structure of Okbobo has 67 volcano houses and each is headed by a chief. The groundbreaking ceremony for the museum was held at Okbobo town, where it will be cited with low-key events as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. The founder of the Kaleidoscope Business Project, Atlanta, Georgia, Linda Middleton, who is spearheading the project, said the essence of the visit is to celebrate Okbobo and bring development to the kingdom. She explained that building the museum will make Okbobo a tourist hub in Nigeria. And most importantly, uh, building the museum and also uh, the po great potential of the tourism that is actually embedded in the Pupu Kingdom. Because that kingdom is really rich in terms of a uh, 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 beautiful landscape of that kingdom that is on top. And the waterfront that can be used for tourist uh, sites, seeing vacations. Middleton also speaks on the ties between India and Nigeria, especially the Okobo Kingdom, in terms of culture. And the history between the Popo Kingdom, the Arapa, just like what we are using right now, most of these Arapas are actually uh, um, uh, produced in India. So India and the Popo have a tie, and kind of cultural ties before now that the, the Popo Kingdom want to truly exploit by visiting India. On his part, King Jaja of Okpobo Dancing Douglas Jaja expressed confidence that the museum will place Okbobo on the global landscape of tourism. The Queen Prudence Dancing Douglas Jaja explains how women contribute to the tourism potential of the kingdom, especially through tying of rappers. A chief in the area, Alabo Godwin Bobo, who also serves as the palace spokesman, stated that the kingdom has social economic potentials waiting to be explored by investors. Uh, we hope that. Uh this will uh, be the start of a new beginning um, and uh, also um, an opportunity to open up Google to the world. Well, the Bible of Father comes into this, the Egenebite and the Bibite. The Egenebite is supposed to be done in the, the woman's father's house before going to the husband's house to do the Bibite. But because of civilization, and women are working, we are busy people, we do push at once. But, uh, you will help us to tell the world that there is a gold mine here in Okobo. Looking at the, everything that God has given to us, I used to talk about the proximity that we have between here and the Atlantic Ocean. We don't know why it should not be explored by investors. The construction of the museum in Okbobo will be funded with proceeds from the 150 years of Okbobo celebration fundraising. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.